Hello and welcome to today's myminimaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be calculating missing angles in quadrilaterals. And first of all, we're on to question one, which is this triangle. Now, what the first thing you need to know is the, the sum, so the total of all three angles in any triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So the first thing we should identify is the right angle over here, which of course is going to be 90 degrees. So if we know that all three angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees, so they have a sum of 180 degrees, the first thing we can do is take the right angle away, and then we can take away the 38 degree angle, and it will leave us the remaining missing angle here. So first of all, we're going to add together the 90 plus the 38, which of course you can do in your heads, but just to clarify, is 128 degrees. We then take that full 180 degrees and we subtract the two given angles to give us our missing part here. So, zero take away eight we can't do, so we borrow from the eight, bring it over to make a 10. 10 minus eight is two, 70 minus 20 is 50, and of course 100 minus 100 leaves us with zero. So, the missing angle is 52 degrees. And next we're on to question two. Now this time it's a quadrilateral. Now before we said that a triangle had a sum of angles, all three angles added up to 180. And if we add another triangle to that, that would be another 180. And when we look at the full shape, it gives us a quadrilateral. So therefore, the sum of the angles of all four angles in the quadrilateral will always equal 360 degrees. An easy way to remember this, of course, is for a square or a rectangle where we know that each of those angles are right angles. So four lots of 90 degrees gives you 360. So four lots of nine, 36 with a zero on the end, gives us 360 degrees. So again, if we take all four angles for our quadrilateral and we know the total of those is going to be 360, we can remove the values that have already been given to us. So we have 65 degrees, we have 140 degrees, and finally 110 degrees. And again, we'll be able to work out that fourth final missing angle at the end. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the total of the three given angles. So we know that's 65, 140 and 110. Again, making sure that we line all our columns up in the correct positions. So first of all, we have 5 plus 0 and 0, of course, is 5. 60 plus 40 is 100, plus 10 is 110, carrying over into the hundreds column. And then we have 100 and 100 and 100, so that's 300. So the total of these three angles is 315 degrees. So next, we need to work out what this missing angle is here. So if we take the the full 360 degrees for the full quadrilateral or four, four angles and then we subtract the 315 degrees for the three angles that we've already worked out the total for and we can work out the difference to find our missing space, our missing angle. So zero take away five, can't do, so I need to borrow from the tens. 10 minus five is five. 
5 minus 1, or 50 minus 10, is 40. 300 minus 300 is 0. So that our missing angle is 45 degrees. Thank you very much for listening today, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.